This week's episode of Soma Spider So What just reveals a ridiculous amount of information while keeping the mystery there, giving us a fun battle, giving us goofy moments, getting us to understand and clarify so much while saying we're just getting started. You kick the episode off relaxing, a bit overwhelmed because everyone mistook Kumiko for the Divine Beast, and of course that would eventually bite her in the ass. I mean, Ariel was already pretty pissed off to begin with, and you end the episode with Kumiko killing Mother Spider, which pisses her off even more. But still, for an episode that didn't have too much emphasis and focus put on the spider side, there was a surprising amount of content on it, and the human stuff with really getting a lot of information surrounding the reincarnations, the teacher, Oka-sensei, mysterious for a while, and a lot of people have not really put trust in her character, and I think this episode is going to further that. Though I'm still unsure what to exactly feel about her, because of course, I mean, when people are saying that they've basically been kidnapped, and even if they're not saying it's kidnapping, they're forced to be there. It's literally an enslavement camp for reincarnations. And based on the flashbacks that we've seen on the spider side, where you have baby Sophia being very scared for her life as, you know, someone like the leader of the elven clan, who we learn is actually the father of Oka, is saying, oh, Ariel must have sent this spider divine beast to protect you because she's going against my command. There is a lot of wedges between these sides, and the tensions are getting up there. It feels to me we're building up to the Ariel vs. Kumiko fight either next week or the week after. It'd be the perfect opportunity to do so. And with the newfound skills that our Spider Girl has acquired, even though she did lose body brain, it feels like, I mean, on one hand you lose something that's important, on the other hand you gained all of the mother's stats, basically. Or most of them, which is pretty insane. Because some people have been asking, well, where are the parallel minds? What are they doing? All along they've been fighting the mother. And to see her in such a weakened state, but still be ridiculously powerful because of her webbing, which is honestly one of the biggest assets our girl had at the beginning of the show, the webbing in order to entrap people and things like that. And to see that these other minds have been sucking away the skills and they just naturally go to them. I mean, it feels like the only natural conclusion that we can come to between Spider versus Ariel, the Demon Lord, is that it's going to be a draw. When you have not only your invincibility, that now can pretty much heal you in a matter of seconds, where before when she was a flying head and she has her self-aware comedy and kind of like fourth wall breaking saying, I wonder how the sensors are going to deal with this. It took her a long time to recover all those limbs. Here, we can do it in a matter of seconds. And even though I don't think Kumiko is stronger than Ariel, I also think Kumiko is such a oddball to her that she's not going to be able to destroy her, and then obviously she can't destroy Ariel, so it has to end in a draw, especially considering we know they're eventually going to become allies in some way in the future, right? So that's what's very interesting, is even though this battle we f probably feel like we know the general progression of it, I still think it's going to be all out chaos, especially if the opening is anything to go off of. Though it is nice to actually have the resolution with the mother before this fight. I wasn't expecting that personally, I was kind of assuming that whenever they did fight, whatever that outcome is, stalemate, draw, maybe Kumiko actually loses in some way and it forces her to obey Ariel's command, I thought that's how we would deal with the mother opponent. I wasn't actually expecting her to deal with M Mama Spider, and Mama Spider even in a weakened state was a sight to behold for sure. Especially considering, like, I mean, with all those new abilities, with all those new powers, it feels like, okay, in most shows, we look at our main character here and say, that's the most powerful character in the show. No, I mean, after the credits says as much, when you're getting that dragging conversation between Ariel after she's pissed off, I mean, she one-shots it without much struggle, right? But even with all the insane action and all that, the thing I come out questioning the most is definitely the perception of reincarnations, because... I'm not totally sure does Ariel at this point in time in the Spider timeline even know about reincarnations. Is she a reincarnation from a, maybe a different set of casts and things like that? It's hard to say, but without a doubt, it seems like the elven leader here firmly believes that the Demon Lord is interfering with his reincarnation plan to group them all together. It doesn't feel like he's slaughtering them. It feels more like, hey, you're going to live in this section. We're going to make sure you never do anything. It feels like most likely a way to avoid the end of the world or something like that based on the history that we've been learning. But it still is a matter of if he's worried about them, why not just kill them outright? If you think that these reincarnations are going to cause distress, kill them outright and then avoid your problems. 
So if that's not what they're worried about, are they going to use them eventually for a big battle for a big war? Are they, but it doesn't seem like they're training them to do so, right? It feels like they're just planting crops and things like that. So there's definitely a lot of mystery on that side, but it doesn't feel to me that Oka is someone to 100% distrust. I think it's intentionally supposed to be a 50-50. On one hand, she clearly is exposing information, she's keeping information, and I mean, when your father is apparently one of the most shady characters we've seen, it feels to me that, yeah, you're naturally supposed to push back against. But on the other hand, it does seem like she generally does care about these characters, so maybe what she's doing is, unfortunately, the only thing she could do to keep them safe. That's also a possibility. It feels like there's a lot we don't know, and that's intentional, and I feel like a lot of that type of questions and things like that would come in a season two if we ever get it. But still, there's a lot of information brewing, and I'm liking just kind of a reunion. Even though these characters are pretty much new to us, I like seeing them all kind of like reunite as if they really were a class of like friends and, oh, do you remember me? We didn't talk too much. It felt like naturally that's how that interaction should occur, while sprinkling in some comedy with many of the boys saying, oh god, you're hot now to our girl here. And uh, I mean, it was funny, it was cute, it was sweet, it was also worrisome, especially considering the class rep who apparently had a good relationship with Oka in their original world really views her as a kidnapper like holy shit like I don't know there's a lot of mystery for sure though it'll be interesting to see because I mean in the past timeline with the spider currently acting as divine beast despite not being it there's many nations saying turn it over when literally they're doing nothing the spider is just chilling and who knows where we're going from here right I feel like the divine beast worshiping is pretty much over at this point because it feels like we're building up to that battle and it's going to be exciting. I think they're definitely incorporating a lot more 3D movements in terms of like Ariel's character model and things like that, which I think is a good thing. I think they overall have a good 3D production going. When it is just a complete 2D production, it looks good. The art design's crisp and detailed, but when they do have to blend 2D drawings with 3D, that's when you can sometimes see bumps along the road. So when everything's just 3D and they're moving fast pace, it looks really good. So that's why I think the overall Ariel versus Kimiko fight will probably be one of, if not the best visually looking fights, given how it feels like it's the most important fight, if they've been putting so much time and attention into the smaller fights in comparison between spider mannequins to giant mama spider, I think this will be one of the best fight scenes of the season, at least fingers crossed hoping so, right? Incredible stuff, a lot of information. Do I trust Oka? Not really. Do I fully trust or distrust her? No, because it feels like she, there's a lot more that meets the eye with her character. It's just a matter of what is the true purpose of her character arc? Is she going to eventually betray the Elven clan for these characters, right? It's hard to say. But overall, this was eventful. It was packed full of information while still leaving so much more mystery open in the air. And I can't wait for next week's episode to see where we go from here. Let me know your thoughts and feelings down below, your favorite moment, and... Where do you think that battle between Ariel and Kumiko is going to go when we do get to see it either next week or the week after, most likely? If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, share your support, and hit that subscribe button if you're happy new round here. So until next time, everyone, please take care and have a good one.